It's like a party. There's cooking going on, people drinking beer, and we're here in Kisumu Museum. And we're gonna show you all the things that are going on here. We're gonna take you to a little traditional homestead. Right now, people, what people are building now are modern homes. We're gonna go ahead and just see how the construction of that uh, homestead looks like. This is my brother Chris. He's the last one. I'm the first one. So when we wanted to build our own. My dad wanted to build a homestead. We had to do the same thing like in this image. My dad was behind, we left my grandfather's home. Chris was in front with the rooster. This is me actually. This is yeah, supposed to be this, me. This is supposed to be him. This is Chris. Chris. The last one. The last one <laughs> but he doesn't carry the axe. Yeah. I'm in the middle here with an axe. And then this is my dad. He'll come with a, like a, a spear or, and something to cut the grass. In front with the rooster, just like this. Okay. You know? And once you get there, to this new area that we're gonna put our, our home. We tied the rooster there. The rooster, the rooster signifies a new home. Okay. We go to the new place and we do the necessary things, uh, clear the ground, some prayers, and we build the home. It's just a small structure, but you have to finish it that day. You know, because you know you guys are not going back to your to your grandpa's compound. You have to finish it on that day, you know. And then the next day you can build. And then the next day you can start on the proper structure, okay. which can take you several months. So Chris had the rooster. What was the feeling, Chris? It was yeah. so joyous, you know, because um, you're moving from one place to another. I was very excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> I was still young. I was like this. Like how old? Maybe like uh, eight years, if I'm not wrong. Like eight years old? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I remember the rooster was, was, was like big for him. Oh, you have to, you have to hold the rooster. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> it's a big rooster. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, so. That's a good memory. Yeah, so we are from uh, the Luo ethnic group here in Kenya. <laughs> When they build the when they build the homestead, you see how our home looks like now, right? It's facing downwards, right? In such a way that the gate was at a down downhill with intention. The side's down. So it's facing like somewhere like downhill. The gate we call it Rangach. That's a newer name for gate, Rangach. So when we build our homes, right, my parents' house is in the middle, facing the, the gate, right? And then since I'm the first one, you see my, my little house there, the, the Simba. It's on this side. And then my second one is gonna build this side. Third one is gonna build this side, and the last one that side. So when you get into the gate, of course it starts. The, the last ones are here. And they get you have straw, and the walls are adobe. A lot of clay, you use clay, you mix it, and it's a communal thing. A lot of people, everybody comes out to help you. So it's not only you. It's like a party. There's cooking going on, people drinking beer. All right, we are entering a new traditional homestead. Uh, and it's called the Odero's Hostel. There's so many kids here, and it's cool. Welcome to the Odero's Hostel. Thank you. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys are interested yeah. in uh, telling you about the homestead. Okay. Then I go and tell you in a very entertaining dance up there. Okay. That sounds great. That sounds great. That sounds great. Thank you. So yeah. I'm uh, Nixon. Nixon? Yeah. And my homestead name, which is my stage name, okay. is Overkend. So this is a Colobus monkey skin. Yeah. This one they've been given by the authorities. So they didn't hunt the monkeys. So that's good. Uh, so they're just using them for entertainment here at the National Museum. So they put them at the bank. So they put them at the bank. And use it for entertainment here at the National Museum. Yeah. This is an authentic Luo homestead. What you're seeing here was being practiced uh -huh. before the coming of the Europeans. Okay. And shortly after the coming of the Europeans. Okay. So this is the first wife's part. She is called Mikai. Okay. But the this door one. is always facing directly to the gate. Okay. Standing at the door of the first wife, facing the gate mm -hmm. to your left, right here, yeah, uh -huh. is the second wife's hut. She's okay. called Nyachira. Nyachira. Then at the far left, to the other side, okay. is the third wife's hut. Mm -hmm. She's called uh, Reru. Reru. 
Rero. Mm. Then the fourth wife will bail this side, the fifth wife this side. Okay. Something hidden about that is uh, mm. wife number two, wife number four, wife number six, which are the uh. even numbers, okay. will build their houses this side. Okay. Wife number three, wife uh. number five, wife uh. number seven, mm. uh, up to maybe wife number eleven, okay. will build their hearts this side. Then oh, nice. we have. Uh, Due to the man having so many wives, mm -hmm. the man build himself mm -hmm. a heart. The heart there. <laughs> I would too. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? We want to up to up to four uh -huh. and coming in. Uh -huh. Then just going in one heart. Okay. The others will feel like this guy is biased. Yeah. Where is it? Wife number one. Uh -huh. So he built himself a heart there. It's called a pillar. Uh -huh. This one. Yeah. This one here. It's called a pillar. This one. A pillar. Simply means uh, yep. the red one. Uh -huh. Abila simply means mm -hmm. the special hut mm -hmm. for the Mze. Mm -hmm. So this is where the Mze dwells every time. So what is a Mze? Mze is the owner of the homestead. Okay. Now Mze is the, 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 the father. Okay. Hey, in, 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 in Africa we say Udyo Mze Wang. So when the you say old man. Uh, the old man. Uh -huh. The old man is the owner of the homestead. Also mm -hmm. a married woman can say mm -hmm. this is my Mze. Uh, she's referring to this is my husband. Mm -hmm. So Mze is the owner of the homestead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's more respectful. <laughs> yeah. Respectfully, this is my Mze. Yeah. Instead of saying this is my husband, yeah. we say but this is my Mze. But it's not Swahili, it's Luo. It's Swahili. Oh, no, it's Swahili. It's Swahili. Okay. The Mze. Mze is Swahili. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is a traditional Luo compound, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But in Luo, you said you're doing Dala. You're doing Dala Mze. Of the homestead. Yeah. So that Mze is mm. Jadu. Mm. Together. Mm. Jadu. Mm. We said Mze is the old man of the homestead. Yeah. Okay. So it's the man. Mm. The man of the homestead. When you translate into Inglu, uh, no, not Inglu. Mm. I mean Luo, mm. you say Jadu. So Jadu Dala. The man of the homestead. Mm. Yeah. Jadu Dala. Dala is the homestead. Mm. That's why they say Kisumu Dala. Mm. <laughs> so oh, that is Dala the man's. Rinda. That is the man's hat. It's called Abila. Bila mm -hmm. simply means the special part mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then here we have the cataract. Mm -hmm. It's called a beach jamne. Mm -hmm. That one is a bila, but this one is a beach jamne. Mm -hmm. So it's different. So this one is for cattle, mm -hmm. the other one is for the mze. Mm -hmm. So the, the pronunciation there is a bila, mm -hmm. this one is a beach. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, where we kept our cow, cows and sheep and goats. Okay. Inside, eh? okay. But outside here, the cattle. Inside sheep, goat, and uh, the calf at a certain age. Okay. Yeah. Tifika, when it reaches another age, then okay. it's being tied outside. Yeah. So we head straight to the man's, uh, to the first wife's house. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first wife's house. Yeah. This is the first wife's house. This is beautiful. Thank you. And cool also. And very cool. <laughs> I want a house like this. It's so nice and cool. And cool, yeah. So this is what we had during that time. And remember, this is an exhibition. No, literally, a man was not supposed to be seen carrying this stone. That's why when the man goes spend the night in the third wife's hut, when he comes, he comes very early in the morning when anyone is not, no one is seeing him around. So what I'm trying to tell you is that when the man goes to the third wife's hut to spend the night, only three people knew where the man slept. The first wife, the third wife herself, or the wife that is going to spend the night, then the man. That one brings me to those children who are sleeping in the hearts of the women. Those children should not know how to differentiate between good and bad. What I mean is they can realize that mom and dad are now, you know, spending the time. You don't sleep in that heart, you live. The sons, you go spend, you go, you'll be sleeping in the sons' hearts. But with the daughters, you'll be sleeping at your grandma's place. So that brings me this tool here. Only women carry this tool. Walking around with it. No man. So let's say I'm a man, then I'm going to the brewing site to take some booze to have some time with my best friends, you see. So what I do, my first wife or my second or my third wife will carry the stool, then we'll go to the brewing site. When I'm coming back, you see my, my wife had some chores to do at home. 
so she'll have to go back. She doesn't have to wait for me to take my booza and then carry the stool and go. She'll go back. Then any woman who is found in a burial site is a single woman who wants someone to marry her. Mm -hmm. So whenever you carry this stool back to my pure mm -hmm. you are my wife. Mm -hmm. And they knew. Mm -hmm. Never you carry this to the asthma. I love the asthma. It's like telling you how I love you. Mm -hmm. When I agree to carry this to I love you. Because when you carry this to it means you are my wife. Did the, did the husband have to ask the first wife permission to get another wife? No. That is one way. Yeah. That is one way. So when I come with you, then you yeah. carry the stool, I'll just tell you there's a plot on the other side you can build your heart as the fifth wife. Okay. That is how you are my fifth wife. Okay, no permission, nothing. No permission. So another way again, eh? yeah. you are my, uh, let's say she's my first wife. Yeah. Then uh, she feels like yeah. I'm a more better man yeah. that I can be having also her sisters. Yeah. As in I treat her very well. Yeah. That she feels like I should be sharing you with my sister. Okay. Now she brings one of her sisters. Yeah. And be my second wife. Wow.